So just as we're getting figuring this out, you know, here comes another drug, uh, mm -hmm. the TAS-102 drug. Richard, walk us through the clinical trial and uh, sort of the impact of this drug. Sure. So the new drug is a TAS-102, which is a oral 5-FU that's basically composed of tiprosol and trifluoridine. And this is a little bit different than your capsidabine. Your capsidabine is a prodrug 5-FU that inhibits TS. This is a component, this is a, the trifluoridine, which is active component, is actually getting incorporated in the DNA synthesis. So a little bit different mechanistically in terms of compared to capsidabine. So this trial, this drug was actually studied in a phase three study called the RECORE study, very similar to correct study, where patients must have failed to standard chemotherapy. The difference is that in this um, subset population, 20% of the patient got regorafenib because the drug got approved, some patient got exposed to it. And the primary endpoints overall survival, and they looked at the PFS and response rate as well. The, and the outcomes were that patients who were getting TAS-1 and 2 had about two months improvement in overall survival. The progression-free survival was almost identical to the correct study, okay? And unfortunately, even though this is a cytotoxic chemotherapy, the response rate was about 2, two to 3 percent, very low response rate. So based on those findings, the TAS-1 and 2 is not commercially available for us to use in patients with patients who failed the standard chemotherapy. Yeah, and I think a lot of these patients, too, had, had just come off of 5-FU, too. So the question is, is this just re-challenging of a fluoropyrimidine versus uh, sort of a continued approach? Um, so what's this telling us about colon cancer in the refractory setting? Keeping a little something going, we've got a targeted, multi-targeted tyrosine kinase inhibitor. We've got a little novel chemotherapy. What's it telling us about the biology of the well, disease? Well, I think these two studies for TAS-102 and regorafenib tell us two important things. One is keeping VEGF inhibition, through, in this case through regorafenib, throughout the course of treatment is a good thing in reducing progression of disease. And that, frankly, with regard to TAS-102, keeping a fluoroprimidine around is a, is a good thing. There were studies, as you may recall, with capecitabine in the refractory setting that said maybe there was some disease stabilization. And everybody so, said no response, so it doesn't yeah, work. Don't but bother. we've now appreciated right. sort of a, an improvement in progression. Yeah, yeah. and arguably, maybe the, the logical answer is give TAS-102 and regorafenib together because both VEGF inhibition and a fluoroprimidine continued through the natural history of treatment is a good thing. Yeah, so we're starting to see some of those combinations. Toxicity, you've been giving this drug out some? Yes, yes, mm. definitely, and, and I think there's, defi uh, there's a definite toxicity mm. difference between the two agents. In, in our hands with the TAS-102, we've seen more of a neutropenia effect, a blood count effect than anything else. Right. Don't but, and a profound one too. Yes. Like they come back a month yes. later, and their ANCs are 300. Yeah. And for GI oncologists, we you know that freaks us out. Yeah. We, <laughs> we, we don't do neutropenia, right? So you're right. Is it were you the same right. way? Like, oh gosh, what should I do? But anyway. But yeah, uh, definitely. But they don't get that fatigue. They don't get the hand foot syndrome. So very very different in terms of choosing that which agent you're going to use based on what the toxicity profile is. And we've seen a, a, a certain number of patients having that sort of low level nausea. Most not. Yeah. Most it's very well tolerated, mm -hmm. but there is that subset. So I just want, you know, we say, oh, it's an easy drug, but there is that group that's having some, everybody's seen that too? Yeah, There's such absolutely. A one, it's an two, issue one, where 10, you, have, you have to delay the next cycle. I'm yeah. sure mm -hmm. we're all seeing it, right? They yeah. come in for the, the next prescription and they're neutropenic. Yeah. Right. They feel fine, yeah. but their counts are low. Mm -hmm. Yeah, funny regimen too. So five days yeah. on, two days off, five, five days, days on, two, two days weeks on. off. Yeah. So it's a, it's a little funky that way. So I think same as we've discussed with uh, regorafenib, we're gonna be fiddling with the dose and schedule of this drug as well. Both are going into other studies in combination, in maintenance, and other combos, right? Uh, anything there to publish or we're just starting that process? Starting the process. There we go. And, and